in this session we will see how to create a folder and how to create a process inside the folder and how to run the process once you logged into blue prism so you can able to see all these tabs by default now most of the time developer is going to work with this studio component here we have two things one is process studio and another one is object studio first we will go through with the process studio how to create a process and all these things and what are the components we have how to use the process how to create then once we are clear with process then we will jump into the object studio so here we have a plus symbol if you click on this plus symbol you can able to see the folders without the folders also you can create a process if you create any process outside of the folder observe this one sample creation it will not belongs to any of your folder default folder right so if you want to create any folder now just observe this create a group or folder both are same create a group and we can give the name blue prism have given now the group has been created group or folder has been created if you want to create any process under this particular group then click on a group and then right click create a process most of the time blue prism will guide you what you need to do observe this it will ask you start work on a new process enter a name for the process we will give first first process when you are giving a name if you give the same name for another process it will not allow every name should be unique here first process we have given a name and then next enter a description for the process why you are doing this process it is asking it's optional we can give or it's up to us if you want to leave it leave it but the best practice is always you can give the description why you are creating the process what is the purpose demo process i am giving demo process and then finish now the process has been created under this blue prism folder if you want to work with a process double click on this and this is your complete process studio window where we are going to create a process left hand side what you can able to see all these things we used to call it as a shapes on the right side the check boxes where we can able to see this we used to call it as a workspace where you are going to create a process all these are the we will call it as a tools or options tools are options one by one we will see each and every option and then each and every shape how to work with the shape and how to work with this option what is the purpose of this don't worry we will discuss each and everything now by default we have these things one is start shape another one is end shape and this box we used to call it as a process information box it contains process name process description who created when it has been created and by default every process will have a start shape and end shape for example if you observe any flow chart it start from one place it can be ended in n number of places right the same way here what the flow chart will tell us it will tell us how the process is going to be executed how our task is going to execute the step by step process the same way in blue prism also when we are creating a process we are giving a direction to blue prism the step by step execution after this what is the next step like that that is we are going to call it the same 
process start and then end will be there by default now we need to give a direction to the process for that we have a link here observe this link option just click on a link and then if you want to give a link from start to end that's it when you give a link when the link is selected you can able to see one option here beside the link you have beside the pointer you have a link link is selected it means when the link is selected you cannot able to move your process observe this it's not possible if you deselect the link then only we can able to move these things and so if you want to deselect any selection click on a pointer now the link is deselected now observe this now you can able to move the shapes see this again if you want to select any of your shapes just click on that the shape will be selected if you want to deselect click on a pointer okay. now the process has been created if you want to run this process just we are starting and we are stopping we are not implementing any functionality in between the start and end this is just a simple process just we are starting and we are ending here if you want to run this always we need to remember we need to click on a reset once you click on reset it will show you if you have any errors reset we will use for two purpose one is it will show you any errors another purpose is it will take your process to initial stage now observe this here we don't have any errors now we can run the process if you want to run the process we need to click on go button click on go button process started process end and if you want to run the same process one more time again click on the go see this it's not implementing it says that it's completed if you want to run the process again always you need to click on reset button now observe this we click down again reset button then again you can able to run the process you can run the same process n number of times there is no limit to run the process once the process is created you can able to run n number of times in this session what are the things we have discussed how to create a folder how to create a process within the folder and then how to create the link in between the start shape and end shape and what is process information and then what is the purpose of reset how to create a link how to select a link how to deselect the any selection by using a pointer and how to run a process